Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to our tech is at. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix uh, iTunes error 14. So basically, uh, iTunes error 14 comes due to um, wrong custom file or some kind of sometime wrong uh, stock IPSW file. And it also occurs due to uh, problems which arise from the USB cable of the phone. So let's see that. So basically, it's tracking the software now. I'm just like flashing a uh, iPod touch so when you see that uh, the preparing iPod for restore up and after that sometime after just like waiting for when it the I iPod will uh, directly connect to this iTunes then you will get a receive a message like a iTunes error farting so let's see let's fast forward this video and we'll get here still waiting for iPhone verifying iPod software restore yes at the time of restoring iPod software it arises the iTunes error 14 let's see okay okay it says uh, it's iTunes error 14 could not be uh, restored and unknown error occurred 14 so to fix that you required uh, uh, first of all just simply uh, disconnect the phone from your uh, disconnect the iPhone or iPad which you have just disconnect it from the computer and click OK again connect it and click over the restore and let's see what's happened still connecting to upgrade server okay do one thing just to minimize all of that and delete the uh, previously installed ipsw file so just simply type uh, percentage app data percentage on the search and just you will get this apple computer option then itunes uh, means if you have iPhone, then iPhone software update. If you have iPod, iPod software update. If you have iPad, then iPad software update. I have iPod, so I have gone to the iPod software update and simply delete the file. Yes, delete this file. And then again connect the phone to your computer. See, I minimize it. Where is the file? Okay, it's connecting. So it's again restore iPod. Click over it and Contacting the iPod software update server. Sometimes it will also take uh, so much time to connect uh, with the iTunes server. Let's see. It's still updating. I think, I think it's something. Okay, it's come. So it's iOS 9.3.5. Next, click over agree and it started the downloading process so here is you can see it's showing four hours remaining but i will increase the next page wait a second here. and i will back after some time then see 
3.7 i just like whenever uh, it will complete the downloading process will complete this uh download key or will automatically gone okay it's uh, downloaded now again i have to click over the restore and i uh, restore ipod after and again restore and update so it's starting the process let me fast forward this video now okay restoring ipad software it's verifying the comfort software restoring ipod from okay your ipod is restored it is the message saying your ipod has been restored to factory setting and it is restarting please leave your ipod connected it will be appearing in the itunes window after it to restart okay so it uh, it will takes around uh, 5 or 10 minutes to restart the ipod for the first boot means uh, also it's uh, uh, it's same in the iphone in case of iphone or ipad it's restarting now again let me fast forward oh this video okay here yeah, it's uh, appear here is this sim small phone logo appear click over it and okay it's ipad so there is a temporary problem completing your request so it's 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 not a some major issue with this error it's just like completely nothing so now the it's completely solved the itunes error 14 so this is the way that way you can easily uh, fix the problem regarding uh, itunes error 14 so thanks for watching this video if you like my video please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share my videos